Okay, here, here, this is Lord Potato, and this is, what if Asta got the powers slash abilities of the Jade Emperor, part four. Now, if I can actually finish it, well, if I will still have enough strength, because I just recorded a video for my second channel, and it did took one hour, yeah, because I'm an idiot, but, uh, like I said in my second channel, I am trying to upload like four videos today. Mostly two videos on my main and two videos on my second channel. I did one video right now for my second channel. Right now this is my, well, first video for my first, uh, what's it called, main channel. And yeah, I was just going on there. But not the point. This is, uh, what's it called, this spent three months ago. This what if, so of course I'm going to do a recap. But let me, uh, what's it called. Also want to say one thing. I might end this video today well part four well yeah i might end on part four or i might end it on well part well five whichever one if i take too much longer time but i might manage to finish it on part four or on part five i'm either managing to finish it but yeah so let me continue on with the sweater thing yeah <sighs> let me do a recap but yeah so what happened last time was east uh what's it called not easy Mostly Asta. Asta was mostly, he is kind of having the powers of the Jade Emperor. Now, he has, what's it called, the power, well, uh, what's it called, well, the Jade Emperor, like the third eye, and even the two other eyes, but yeah, don't worry about that. He also has the, what's it called, Takumako Blade, and, well, the Jade Emperor Rope. He also has, what's it called, other abilities, but yeah. He also has the Grimoire, that's kind of not really what the car well it is similar to the well it's mostly it has the powers of the jade uh emperor's powers in there but yeah but pretty much anyone who takes the book pretty much is going to feel like they're holding like a giant huge planet what well, not giant huge planet like a dwarf star in their hands that means they can literally not be able to pick it up unless it's well asta they can't pick it up but yeah so yeah, of course, it worked. well, what happened last time was Asta kind of joined the Black Bulls. Well, he already was in the Black Bulls. He kind of ain't really that fat, uh, fa uh, was a car, well, how should I say, fascinated with the Black Bull uh, members that much. He really doesn't talk to them that much. Of course, it worked. well, Asta did kind of go to the, what's it called, Queen, uh, mostly the Queen of Witches uh, hideout to kind of get the last magical stone. He also dealt with two different factions, being one from the Diamond Kingdom, the leftover remaining members, and that uh, for the call, the Eye of the Midnight. He would have killed, was it called, Fauna and also um, Mars, I think so? He would have killed both of them if it wasn't for, was it called, um, Mar Mariona? What was her, what was her, what was her, her name? And Fanzel kind of interrupting their kind of battle. Of course, he didn't kill them. He instead kind of went after what's it called the Queen of Witches. He would have killed the Queen of Witches if it wasn't for someone interrupting and actually kind of get, uh, sensing them. Mostly, it was mostly his one of his uncles. He has three different uncles. Even though he's not related to the Jade Emperor kind of at all, he's not related to him. Mostly, he has his powers, but he calls these three people his uncles. They're mostly the three prince of what's it called. Mostly, these Three are basically the three prints of Nautic. There's the main one who is basically an earth user and he's the prince of Nautic. He's the main, he's like the first child. His name is, uh, what's it called? So his name is Arden. Of course, then there's the second brother who is named Lot and he kind of looks like a girl, but he's mostly a dude and he's shorter than the first one. And of course, then there's the third one who's the youngest and his name is, well, Joala is kind of the kind of what's it called dirt print, but yeah, this is where it will. So the first one is named Arden. He's able to use kind of fire and fire weapons, similar to Joala, who actually uses lava. And the third and the second one named Lot kind of uses ice, but yeah. Of course, Joala kind of met up with Asta during the whole fight between the Queen of Witches. Mostly kind of found him and kind of talked to him. Of course, after that, uh, it was mostly kind of a festival. That basically put the Black Bulls on first. Of course, Asta kind of 
ruin the whole speaking between the whole what's it called um the king. Of course, the king uh, threatens Asa to execute him, but Asa didn't care that much. Of course, there were well, Arden, Lot, and Joala did appear in what's it called the Clover Kingdom. Joala did manage to use lava to burn the king because it kind of pissed off uh, what's it called kind of. The king was annoying and kind of annoying Joala. Joala, he didn't care after killing him. Of course, they fly up and kind of went into different regions. This is where, well, Asta was getting bothered by magic knights after, well, Joala's kind of incident of killing the king. This is where, well, Asta put every human in their fucking place, even the wizard king, by literally taking out one of his souls and killing what's it called, Lucas. This is where, well, he then kind of just walked away after that. He kind of just flied. Of course, there was a call, kind of like, well, not festival. It was mostly a battle for people to go into the Magic Knights, kind of fighting against the elves. But, of course, Asta wasn't there. Instead, he was with Arden. Arden kind of fought against, well, fought against someone named, was it called, Dante. Lot fought against someone named Vanika. And then, well, the last one, Zenin, or Zenkin, or whatever, Zenman. Kind of fought against Joala. Joala easily beat the shit out of jo uh, what's it called Zenin. But yeah, this is where well, Asa thought it'd be a good idea to kind of go destroy the kind of uh, well not Diamond Kingdom, the uh, what's it called Spade Kingdom for the fact they're in, in well insolence, kind of pissing well him off and kind of pissing off his family. But yeah, which he sees in more family than anyone else. But yeah, we go into where I last left off. We go into Asta right now slaughtering uh, left, right, left, right, killing what's it called? Well, Spade uh, members, mostly the Dark Tribe members, or mostly those who are lower rank. This is where, well, he slices one left, one right. He's easily killing them with the sword of Takamaku, the Takamaku blade. This is where, well, he's slicing it, slicing it, cutting someone's head so easily. He barely swings a sword once to the right of him, and a bunch of their heads just flies. He swings to the left their heads fly. He swings to the front, their heads fly. Basically, he's only like swinging his arm once and it ain't even that hard and he's easily cutting people's heads pretty easily. This is where well, multiple people keep rushing at what's it called Asta sending magic and other things, but this is where Asta makes it dispel after using his third eye telekinesis. He just makes him dispel and this is where well Asta appears right now cutting them down. But yeah. <laughs> this is where well Asta keeps walking around. Of course, where well, someone actually tries to attack him for what's it called? Mostly tries to attack him with the shadows. And of course, where it would have got close to Asta if it wasn't for someone shooting an arrow and stabbing a pawn with uh, well, the person who was using shadows. This is where a person jumps away, but of course he has this like hole in his like chest. This is where he has armor and he was shot. This is where well. When Asta looks up, he sees a blonde haired man with kind of reddish eyes and this small grin. This is where, well, Asta says, So, R, what are you doing here? Or should I say, Atra R? This is where R says, Oh, hello there, Asta. I'm just here to check on you. That's all. Mostly, it was a god grandfather wanted me to check on you to make sure that you weren't going anything or doing anything reckless. This is where, well, Asta says, I got this myself. I don't need your help that much. Really, that guy was almost about to cut your head. This is where, well, Asta says, huh, and you think I would let him? I could have easily cut his head off. Or says, don't worry, I'll kill him. This is where the person running with the shadow armor, his name is, uh, what's it called, Not? Yeah, Nock or whatever like that. And of course, try to attack what's it called, R. But this is where R appears to another blade instead of from his bow and arrow. On a blade on his right hand, this is where he easily cuts the car not into a million pieces. This is where, well, R says, I'll help you in this little battle of destroying this whatever this kingdom is called. This is where, well, R says, You want to make this a race? R says, Gladly. I like that. This is where, well, Asta grins while not also grins. This is where, well, we go into about 30 minutes later. Not, well, what's it called? Not, not. Asta. And are finished slaughtering everyone that was in the Spade Kingdom. Literally kill every single person. This is where, well, 
I also made, well, mostly threw down a, what's it called, Giant Blast. It was called, well, not Giant Blast, it was a Big Bang, but it was kind of a little bit bigger than the one that he used against the Diamond Kingdom to annihilate them all. This is where R also did send his own attack to annihilate them all. Meaning that everyone is dead in the, what's it called, Spade Kingdom. Now, of course, the where, well, also doesn't care and he's just flying away. Mostly going back towards where the other, well, his other uncles. And this is where R is also flying. This is where he has wings. And this is where, well, R says, so what are you going to be doing next? Hmm. Probably destroying the Diamond Kingdom. They're also a bother. Okay, then let's go do it. This is where it will. This is where it will. Asta and R does talk in the, well, mostly talk after slaughtering people from, what's it called, Diamond Kingdom. Mostly killing them and kind of making them kind of pay with their heads and what's it called, uh, organs. But they're talking kind of casual after killing people, mostly when they're fighting other things. But of course, this is where, well, R just talks about life and how Asta's doing. This is where Asta kind of talks back and says about it's good and other things, but yeah. This is where, well, they mostly kind of talk. And of course, this is where, well, they manage to stop killing a bunch of people in the, what's it called, Diamond Kingdom. But they fly up, and this is where, well... Also makes this kind of like reddish ball appear. This is where it will. Um, R makes this like yellowish ball, and this is where it will. Also causes red ball annihilation. Mostly the blast of annihilation, a bomb. Uh, well, uh, annihilation uh, ball. This is where it will. Uh, what's it called? R makes this with a called ball of that's kind of yellow and gold a little bit, and this is where he calls ball of greed. Well, mostly greed a uh, bomb. He throws it down, and of course, both of the attacks kind of mix together and then annihilating, destroying the whole, well, country pretty much easily, but yeah. This is where, well, they're flying back to kind of talk to the other prince, but yeah. This is where, well, they kind of just talk and blah, 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 but yeah. Pretty much, we go into the whole battle between the elves and other things. Of course, this is where, well, uh, let's call, uh, Pa, what, the, what was his name? Uh, fuck. I haven't done Austin Woodups in a while, so of course, I kind of forgot half of their names. Uh, Pon, uh, what was the name? Ponico? Pon, Pon, no, no, no. Um, mostly, uh, mostly the guy with, like, light magic appears trying to kill what's it called, the Wizard King and Yami. But of course, when he sent multiple light, when he was trying to kill, uh, kill everyone in the whole country with multiple light attacks, because he needed the magic stones from what they're called the Wizard King. He was about to do it until he literally got a hand ripped through his like chest. Ripping out his heart. Killing him in an instant. This is where he was unable to accomplish the mission. This is where he crushes the what's it called. Well, mostly heart in his hand. And it's none other than Asta. Asta says quite pathetic indeed. This is where all the light kind of like swords destroyed in an instant. This is where, well, Yami says, well, at least the cat didn't, oh, well, he's here. This is where, well, uh, was a call, mostly, uh, Julius went his eyes and realized that this is where Asta's pretty damn strong. He's powerful as hell. This is why Asta doesn't care and just disappears in an instant, most in the flash. This is where, well, we go into the battle between the elves. Now, the elves are easily getting, well, kind of killed. Mostly thanks to R being there and also, well, the other prince, but yeah. Now, of course, you're easily kind of burning them, melting them down, freezing them. And in our words, he's easily kind of eating them, using Reed's power to eat them and take their powers. But yeah. Now, of course, this is where it will. Uh, you know, is trying to fight them, but this is where it will. You know, almost got eaten by R. This is where it will. Uh, Joaka kind of appears right now, kicking you know out of the way right now, smashing him through multiple trees, smashing him out of the what's it called building and into multiple trees. But yeah, but of course we go into a time skip after the elves were kind of defeated and slaughtered pretty easily. This is where well, multiple people kind of did lose their kind of homes and other things, but pretty much is where well, Austin and the others really didn't care. It's human beings and they really don't care. Now, of course, we go into mostly a time skip of, well, uh, what's it called? Asta and the others kind of forgot about the whole double realm. And this is where, well, 
Someone managed to get to the double room out there. Well, a huge explosion managed to kind of destroy it. This is where, uh, was it called? Uh, what was the thing? So, uh, what's it called? Um, what was, oh, for fuck's sake, I just forgot about it. God damn it, I don't even remember it. So, Lucifer, Bazel, and the other devils kind of got out. Of course, flooding the human world, and of course, everyone is trying to fight back. But this is where, well, Asta and the other seized this. They could have helped the humans, but this is where Asta really got tired with this human world. Pretty much all of the what's it called nations are quite annoying. But of course, this is where they weren't really near the four, well, I mean, yeah, the four kind of like kingdoms. They were mostly at what's it called the sun, the sun king, well, mostly the sunland. Now, of course, this place is a lot better than what's it called the kingdoms, but yeah. No nobles. Well, there is a little bit of nobles, but pretty much there's not that many nobles. Let's do right well. Also thinks that this place is very peaceful, so he rather destroyed the four kingdoms without a care in the world. Of course, devils tried to show up towards to call this place to ruin it, but this is where also annihilate them at once. Now, of course, this is where R and the other prince said leave back to their own dimension, so also was the only one kind of there. He destroyed them all in an instant and then annihilate all the devils that came even close to the uh, land of sun. This is where he summoned out a giant meteor from the sky to destroy the, what's it called, the uh, four, well, the last two, what's it called, nations. He really didn't care. This is where he actually sees the explosion and everything is gone there. This is where uh, Lucifer appears trying to kill Asa, but this is where Asa kills him in an instant by swinging his hand once. To the right of him. Mostly his eye was glowing. His third eye. This is where Bezel tries to appear to try to teleport Asta away. But this is where he then explodes. And this is where an Atheris tries to attack. Well, Asta, mostly the time double. He then also kind of reverses into time into absolute nothing. Because Asta reverses time. But yeah. This is where, well, Asta says quite pathetic indeed. This is where, well, Asta basically just stayed in the land of sun. What a care in the world. This is where, well, Asta did kind of go to different dimensions after, well, he did stay in the land of sun for about, well, um, well, he didn't send a huge a meteor, it was mostly kind of him powering up so he can bring the doubles towards the land of sun to easily kill them, so he really didn't send a meteor down to the, what's it called, to, uh, like, to, what's it called, leftover kingdoms, but yeah. But he didn't really bother to go back. But pretty much, he's been in the Land of Sun for about, like, four years. And he's already, like, 20. Of course, he just kills all the devils that actually did came close to him. But, yeah. He went back to kind of see if the, was it called, kingdoms are destroyed or just whatever. And he basically sees the kingdoms are just rebuilding itself. People did die in the whole fight. Uh, this is where, well, the king who, well, mostly the king, uh, wizard king is, or mostly, yeah, the wizard king, because, well, um, well, the old wizard king, like, uh, what's it called, Julius, or what's it called, someone else couldn't really take over, so, of course, the wizard king is none other than what's it called, you know, but, of course, when Asta lands down and multiple magic knights did try to attack him, because, you know, realized that Asta might be a problem, so, of course, he did kind of put bounties to make sure that Asta is not a problem and tries to be neutralized. Of course, this is where Asta kills him in an instant and whatever. He didn't really care. He kills anyone that got in his way. Now, of course, all the eight magic uh, knight captains did kind of uh, transform into just one. Because, yeah, that's needed to just be one. So, of course, you know, tries to kind of use all different magic knights to try to destroy Asta, but it didn't really work. Because Asta was only looking for one person. One person that enters his eyes. Now, of course, he looks around and realizes that, well, he can't find her. So, of course, he just teleports around mostly the different, what's it called? Well, mostly the kingdom of Clover to find her. Of course, he found her, but of course, she wasn't with the living no more. This is where, well, Asta kind of had a tear a little bit down. But this is where, well... He sighs a little bit, but this is where, well, he then uses his eyes. This is where he activates all three of his eyes, even the Jaden Emperor's eyes. 
This is where he wonder he he wonders if he can bring her back to life. This is where well he uses all his power just to bring her back. This is where well he brought her back, but of course this is where she was aged up to be the same age as him. And this is where well Asta felt very kind of weak after kind of bringing her back. It was none other than Junko, this girl with blondish hair and kind of pale blue eyes. This is where, well, he kind of just chuckles and says, Hey there, beautiful. This is where, well, she blushes and says, Why did he bring me back? Because, well, I thought of, what's it called, uh, starting a family, I guess, with you. This is where she blushes and says, What? Really? This is where, well, I start just chuckles and says, Yeah. I don't really have anything to do, and I guess I can bring you to the land of sun. To the land of sun, but yeah, since pretty much I don't like this kingdom, and pretty much you know trying to kill me. This where Junko says, I like that. This is where we go into a time skip of, well, mostly 10 years later. So, it's been 10 years, and of course, Asa has like two kids that are right now running around. They are kind of the age of kind of like 14, a little bit, well not 14, uh, like 10 to 9, but yeah. But this is where, it, well, both the kids are kind of just running around, kind of just, well, annoying their kind of father and kind of mother. But of course, this is where a war is happening between the kind of two, uh, well, two of the, well, not great nations, mostly the Heart Kingdom and the uh, Clover Kingdom, they kind of merge together. Because, well, uh, well, you know, they managed to take them over, mostly take over the Heart Kingdom. It was just a big kingdom, mostly called the Clover Kingdom. And, of course, an army of multiple boats with magic knights there trying to take over the Sun Country. Of course, Asta was there, and he was still not that weak. He was still powerful, even at his youth. This where, well, he flooded all of them down and was thinking of killing you know. So, of course, this is where he flies up to actually go annihilate him. So, of course, we go into, well, Asta getting towards the, well, Clover Kingdom. And it is just the Clover Kingdom was pretty big. Like, the Clover Kingdom that has became big. Like, it took all over the what's called remaining kind of forces or people around the whole kind of, like, well, island and other things. And it just became a huge empire. Pretty much what it kind of looks like, if you want to think about this. Think of Akka got, well, Akka got killed, uh, of the whole, like, empire, the imperialists and other things, the imperialist empire. Yeah, think of that. That's how it is. This is where, well, the king is none other than Yunu. And Yunu know, noticed was a call a flying person up in the air. And he sent multiple magic knights to rush at Asta. Asta chuckles and say, <laughs> oh, you think you can take me out, Yunu? Yeah, right. This is where, well... Asta appears and flying through what's called magic knights, easily cutting them down with the sword, slicing them down so easily. This is where he sends, uh, what's it called, he uses what's it called, lightning, earth, water, and other things, but yeah, he's easily destroying them. He's destroying them with using telekinesis. He's using what's it called, plant abilities. Basically using like uh, roots to appear from the ground and easily destroy humans. These humans are kind of a mixture with what's it called different races, mostly also different races like uh what's it called like va uh, not vampires mostly uh witches so yeah you know vampires witches kind of werewolves and other t types but yeah this where well also is easily killing them all this where well he then had enough but of course this where well before he did that last attack he instead just decided to do this anti gravity. This is where the whole kingdom is being lifted up to the same eye level as him. Well, he's lifting them up towards the atmosphere. This is where, well, he added as kind of an ability over it so they can still breathe in space, though. This is where everyone's wind their eyes. This is where, you know, is shocked. This is where he sees the little uh, barrier. And, of course, he's Asta basically doing this. Now, of course, Asta is spending a lot of energy. But this is where Asta doesn't care. This is where, well, he pulls out his sword, and this is where, well, he looks at, what's it called, Yuno, know, and says, die. This is where, well, this is where, well, also is kind of using some remaining, uh, mostly his life and other things. But this is where, well, 
he then kind of uses planet toss all around what's called the kingdom, mostly the empire. And this is where then he makes a kind of bigger, like, uh, what's it called? Bigger, uh, big, uh, what's it called? Big Bang. But yeah, this is where he launches straight towards what's it called? The kingdom. And this is where, you know, screams out, Asta! This is where it explodes. And this is where Asta's launch from what's it called? Mostly everything explodes and then push him towards what's it called? Earth. Launching so fast, coming down straight towards the ground. He landed in the ocean and mostly landed on an island. But this is where, when he woke up a couple of days later, he then kind of, well, got back to the land of sun. This is where, well, Junko was worried about him, but of course, this is where Asa came back. Now, of course, this is where, well, they both live kind of longer. Well, mostly Asa got to live a little bit longer, but of course, he did use a lot of his, like, life points to kind of revive Junko. But of course, it's where his children will literally uh, will become gods. Well, mostly they're demigods, but yeah. But of course, this is where, well, pretty much this is the end of this what if. So yeah, this will be the end of this what if. Um, Of course, this is pretty much 20, what, 26 minutes long. So yeah, of course, this is where, well, I did say I was going to make this into a five part, but then realized, nah. But uh, yeah, this is what's it called. This is the end of this what if. So have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, potato potato, and good night. I might come back and redo this because I'm, I I kind of might have messed up on some things. But other than that, just have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep. Bye bye. But yeah.